Okay. We're back. Another week has flown by. Bye. <coughs> Hail Krampus and happy Festivus for the rest of us. Hail Krampus. Okay. And, and of course, in honor of Deutschland, Germany, Hail Krampus again. Um, get the festivities, I mean, um, get the formalities over with early. Uh, my name is uh, James P. Madonna. I'm your host of this show, which is called uh, Progressive Discussions. Uh, I'm uh, uh, associated, affiliated with Mega Life 21. Um, and I want to introduce you to my illustrious uh, co-host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977, the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Yeah. It, it, it is mild. It, it feels mild to me, even though the mornings are cold. So, but the the, the regular November weather is back, more or mm. less. You know. It's in the 50s. It's in the low right. 50s. But right it's now. very clear and dry uh, and full sun. Dry is the key word that I like. Yeah. Not not if you're living in... There ain't no snow. There's no snow. I yeah, don't want to say yeah, yeah. it too long, knock on blackthorn well, wood. Well, you're going to hear it on television now. Uh, I wonder if we'll have a white Christmas. Fuck them. Hey, let me tell you something. I don't need no stinking white. Let me Christmas. tell you something. Not only is 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 Jesus not is not only is Christ not in Christmas, but the but snow is not in uh, not affiliated with his birthday either. Yeah, yeah. And let me tell you that the person who wrote the song Winter Wonderland probably never had to dig his or her car out or chop the ice. Ugh. That's what I always say. You know, but but all those Christmas carols and the movies were uh, created for the big uh, sleazy American retail industry, yeah. underhanded American retail industry, and um, of course, uh, I'm going to say this every week, but Chisler's Hall of Shame, those nauseating Zales and Jared fine jewelry commercials make me sick. Uh, a diamond is a diamond is not a girl's well, best well, who friend. cares if a diamond is forever anything could be forever a, 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 a something made of stainless steel can be forever if 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 i bury it somewhere and and or put it in a hope chest or a time you know, capsule a time capsule but well, any object can be stored away and be forever what does that mean they, they try to work on your emotions. In other words, it's, love. it's it's a guilt trip. Love is. In forever. other words, if you don't go broke and in deep debt for your significant other, then they're trying to lay that guilt trip on you that you don't love her yeah, enough. That's right. And they, and that's how the the Zionist retail industry sucks you in, suckers you in to spend all that money on a a product that is not any longer a precious gemstone I told you there are so there's so much <clears throat> diamond in the rough being mined like in South Africa that yeah the, they have to hold it back to keep the price the beers ha has to hold back the exportation mm -hmm. of the diamonds in the rough just to keep the price mm -hmm. uh, from dropping you know I mean but besides a cubic zirconia is much more beautiful than the average diamond and those diamonds you get in in at all these famous and popular fine jewelry stores they have a lot of inclusions they're not investment grade diamonds Ooh. no way Ooh. take a sip look at silver silver is selling below its production price oh really Oh really? Yes. Silver. It, 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 you can buy it for less than it costs to take it out of the mine. So does this mean they, the planet Earth has more than enough silver to be extracted? Well, it looks like it. 
How is copper? If you believe How? in, uh, if you believe in supply and demand. How's copper doing? I have no idea, but copper's per, pretty. Uh, a lot of people like um, they're stealing the pipes and everything from uh, houses. Well, so it must be worth something. Copper and gold, um, and um, possibly other uh, alloys, are outstanding conductors of electricity. That's why you have your cables have twisted copper. <laughs> what do they call them? Coaxial cables twisted copper inside and um, I think the twisted uh, sh shuts out any interference any um, you get a smoother connection I think I could be wrong but anyway <clears throat> I want to say give greetings and a shout out to uh, our Facebook uh, a group administrators Sash Boyle, Jean-Luc O'Don, Anthony Laura uh, uh, Mick Von Raven, uh, oh, you better make a list. Yeah, we don't have, but we don't have that many administrators, oh. um, to be honest with you, because a lot of them, they were not active on the group. Hey, I'm hey. just mentioning the active ones. Hey, hey. Um, uh, and then, of course, uh, I want to send greetings to my near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. Hello, Miho. Also to the creator himself, personal trainer to the stars, uh, Mario Petrus of Petrus Fitness. And uh, also a shout out to a true progressive warrior, uh, uh, Evelyn Pringle. Congratulations on your new... Um, time slot on the Progressive Radio Network on Gary Knoll's uh, organization. I I, I, aye, aye. I have not seen you be you you your name there yet, but maybe you're there now. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You should be there by now. I think what is this her third week? I would say she's uh, closing in on her one month anniversary. Yeah with Progressive uh, Radio Network. She does a weekly show, right? Once, one time slot per week. Good for her, good for her. Sure. Her name should be in the directory of... Um, yeah, archive. Ar well, no, they have a directory of, okay. of shows, shows, what the name of the shows yeah. are, and the people who do the shows. <laughs> so, you know. Well, I'm waiting for, uh, I've been waiting for um, at least a week now for Gary to befriend me. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, 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 I had sent a, me, you know, a friend request, and I sent an email that my friend request had not been honored yet. So, I don't know. Whether they're too busy over there or what. I don't know. Maybe he's mad at you because he's mad at me now. <laughs> Well, he wouldn't be mad at me for crying out loud. Either. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's he's too smart to. Uh, I'm a nice guy. To uh, uh, affiliate other people just because they are uh, friends with each other. You know, I mean, everybody should be looked at individually, which is a problem that we have now in in America. America. Now, um, finally. The Republican Party was so proud, the, the, uh, it's probably done by the Republican Congress, so proud as they look up at the new uh, Dick Cheney statue, statue ah! in Washington, D.C. Dick Cheney, the war criminal with so much blood on his hands, yeah. and uh, to say the least, and... Uh, and a big contributor also to the uh, country's debt. He has a statue now to honor himself, mm -hmm. to honor him. And I'm sure the Democrats were not responsible for that statue, but the statue is there. And um, what can I say? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, the con Republican Congress just, uh, uh, they, they shot down, um, uh, um, uh, uh, what is it, a gun check law? 
concerning uh, people that are on the watch list, the, the terrorist terror watch list, yeah. The terrorist watch list that they are still allowed mm -hmm. to purchase firearms according to the Republican Congress. Paul Ryan likes that. Very nice. Yeah. Gee, very nice. Uh, also and the veterans uh, bill to help veterans, of course they shoot that down. Anything that benefits the uh, the uh, uh, the little guy and the mainstream American, mm -hmm. which includes the middle class, anything anything that does not include the top twenty percent, it seems like they could care less about. And those are the people; those are the fools, the the imbeciles that vote for them. Mm -hmm. You know, like that photo of the. The southerner, or, or, or that lives in a, in a shack or a trailer, and 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 generations of his family voted Republican, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there's no logical reason for them to do it, but they do it anyway. I think well, it has. they have a they they don't they don't use the same word that they use. They use welfare when it goes to somebody who's needy, but they don't use it in terms of tax cuts for the rich and subsidies or tithes for churches for like Joel Osteen. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Tithes for uh, uh, These are welfare. Mega churches, TV evangelist mega churches. So don't forget subsidies for corporations, welfare. handouts. This said. is all welfare. Yes. But they don't they they, they have a mental block about yeah. that and I think their um their false prophet uh, right-wing evangelical pastors are also they also play a role in these people these idiots of voting Republican because uh, their religion is a cult it has nothing to do with the Bible oh uh, yes it does who's Bible? because the Bible says if the pastor is wrong so are the people uh, well I mean they're being misinformed yeah you so know, if the and, pastor is wrong so is his people. That's why we have the evangelical serpent right here, brother, <sighs> as in taking up serpents. And let me tell you, uh, whether you be a a, a right wing, um, right to life domestic terrorist or just uh, an imbecile that votes Republican, a fertilized human egg and an embryo is no more a human baby than the eggs in my omelet. And um, seven bells for myself. Um, now this uh, um, <coughs> this uh, radical uh, Islamic radical terrorist Hold on. That shot up those Hold people. Hold on. Everybody is using the wrong word. To well, describe these extremists. Well, let me tell you the story. Just a moment. Okay, go ahead. Look up radical in the dictionary. And as Wilhelm Reich said many moons ago, radical means to go to the root of things. So that doesn't sound like them. That's exactly correct. And people are using that word constantly. Extremists. Use something else, but radical All is right, a good I'm word. Alright, I'm sorry. I take that back. Radical is a good word. The Islamic -ish extremists Aha! that murdered those uh, people. Mm -hmm. There's a, a pattern here. Uh, first of all, the FBI has been uh, watching and surveying him and others and his other people in his clique, or whatever. He's, he has been on surveillance. And, and what happened was many of these people were co-workers of his that yes, he killed. He works there. He works there. They threw Five him years. his co- hold, let me finish. Five years. Five years. His co-workers were kind enough and uh, 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 um, inclusive and ultra-liberal enough and tolerant enough to throw this man a baby shower for him and his wife. Then he takes a long vacation to Saudi Arabia and when he returned, that's when he uh, planned, orchestrated this murder.
Well, they are thin. No, 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 no. With they the are, pipe bomb that didn't go off. This, this shooting. In Saudi Arabia. Was an afterthought. This was not what they were going to do. This In other couple, words, you don't connect their visit to Saudi Arabia with their plan to do this? Not this shooting, no. No, I do. I connect it. They I had bombs it. in the house. Nah, poor shit. You don't go to a shooting and then, and, you know, no bombs. They went to this party. They were having a party there. And the guy that he had already argued with some time ago about Islam, the guy told him, you know, it's a dangerous religion and everything. And well, that's when they probably thought, hey, let's go out and get the guns and let's, you know, do something. Bad excuse. That wasn't what they planned. It wasn't premeditated, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah. But they had something premeditated, but you believe can't, me. But you can't prove it. Uh, but, you know? I mean... They had an arsenal in the house. Well, then they, they had, had some thousands. planned. Yeah, but not this. But there, I believe that this month, the month-long vacation that they took to Saudi Arabia it just forms a pattern and what they found in their home you're forgetting something entirely here D don't trust saudi arabia he was saudi arabia is they fund they fund oh, yeah. isis so they does, fund al so does, they fund hey bubblehead so does kuwait fund isis so does turkey they're smuggling. The uh, oh, ISIS yeah. is doing business with yeah. Turkey. Yes, of course. A uh, uh, Vladimir Putin. Oh, I gotta salute him. Vladimir Putin found uh, they sh the media shouldn't have uh, it shown the map. Exposed it. The media, the jackass internet media showed showed the map. Oh, yeah, found Putin the route. found the routes. Uh -huh. How there was how ISIS is smuggling the oil into Turkey. Yeah. Stupid asses. Now. ISIS knows that Russia knows. Yeah. Real smart. But anyway, Vladimir Putin, we love you. You're you're like a superhero. You deserve a cape. Now let's get spandex. Like with spandex. Yes. Situation. Yeah. Da, 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 he da, was da. online dating. He met his wife to be in Saudi Arabia. She comes from Saudi Arabia. Oh, she ha she he brought she. he brought her over on a fiance a visa. A one visa. Yes. A what? K-1, I think it's called. That's the fiancé visa, right? Yes. Okay, all right. They they are beginning to believe that it is she who was extremist. Just like... And brought him along. Just like the other Saudi, Osama bin Laden, and the other Saudis that were on the planes, the 9-11 perpetrators, Saudi, 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 Saudi. And then the, the Saudi Arabia has been beheading people for uh, frivolous stupid reasons left and right beheading so many people you know there's a pattern here i wouldn't be surprised if they're not if they're, they're not funding and possibly training isis <coughs> they are they give me iran gives money to uh, you know hezbollah and 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 and, and uh, the other one over there in uh, Palestine. Now, why is Obama tolerating all this from his so-called allies? Because, be, well, that's it. Because they are allies. Uh, 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 then Net Netanyahu can't be trusted either. He said They're allies. He's talking shit about the United States many times. But, but the point again is, these people had a six-month-old child. Now, they went to paradise, supposedly, with their deaths, and the child was left. These were good people? I don't think so. Okay? I don't think so. Well, I believe that they By the way... I believe in patterns. Patterns of form. Well, here's a pattern. In life. Since they are trying, they they, they 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 say they did. I don't believe them. They say they knocked down a lot of the NSA shit that Snowden exposed, etc. And now they're going to blame. That's why we can't find these people. Because we can't keep collecting all this information on you innocent citizens in the United States. Yeah, but okay. the people that work for the government are supposed to uphold the Constitution and the law 
like anyone else. Right, aren't they? Uh, again, also, <laughs> all of these pe all of these right wingers and etc. are blaming Obama for being soft on terrorism and etc. I believe it was a G. W. Bush who put together a massive thing called Homeland Security. It ended up being a waste of tax exactly. money. Exactly. Well, I'm sure Republicans are happy that France is like doing all these searches now without a warrant and they're calling uh, the French government fascists yeah. on the internet because they're, hey, after that, what happened in France, I would say that the level of paranoia would be very high in a country, don't you think? Huh. Yeah, but the point of it is, you're not going to find out anything on innocent Americans or French, French, French. No, it's a waste of, of, of manpower. Correct. You have to have ways of finding the bad guys. You don't have to go through the good guys to find the bad guys. No, it's, you know, it's but just, that's what they're doing. I mean, how can how can they want to spy on everybody? How can you spy on everybody? It doesn't it water down your effectiveness. It waters down the collection process. You got all this shit, and you can't use it <sighs> because it's all junk. It's like having. It's like. Anything, you know, if you, if you have uh, uh, too many cooks uh, 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 spoil the soup, as they say. You know, I mean, you have to target people that, sh that, that develop patterns, that, 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 have, that have reason for you to be suspicious mm -hmm. of. Not every Tom, Dick, and Harry in America. You know, I mean, how can you possibly effectively do it? I mean... They can't. They, they, not, one, not one terrorist or etc. has... Since the, they put in the NSA, the, the um, whatever it was under uh, under Obama when he uh, renewed it or whatever Patriot, Patriot Act, Act and that, and the, the NAD whatever afterwards right hasn't caught one <laughs> the collection process that they were using hasn't, hasn't caught, caught one not one terrorist or, or etc or has warned us of any 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 uh, you know things in progress Amazing. Like that. No. No. Now, I have an idea. I'm going to run it by you. It you, went by. You could like it. You could not like it. You know. Um, but just, you know, voice your opinion. You don't have to scold me or yell. I will. I know you will, because then, oh. then I yell, and, and it, it probably brings up ratings. <laughs> but anyway. There should be awards, bonuses, whatever you want to call them. Let's call them awards uh, paid to whistleblowers. Like, for instance, if a cop... New York says it. If, if a cop... If you see something, say something. Now, if a cop, quote-unquote a good cop, sees uh, misconduct mm -hmm. with, within his uh, uh, fellow uh, uh, police officers, oh. or a citizen... Okay, and they shoot the video, you know, either the cop has the, the little video camera around his neck yeah. or the citizen whip, you know, kind of like whips out their, their smartphone. And the video goes to the police commissioner and it's proven, the misconduct is proven by video, because of that video, that person should anonymously receive an award. So this should be... Uh, um, there should be uh, uh, um, awards <laughs> uh, uh, offered to people who do their civic, their good deed, civic um, duty as an American citizen and a police officer. And that will keep everyone on their toes because, oh, it has to be in conjunction with the fact that police that are um, not so nice uh, uh, only have a civil lawsuit against them and not a criminal suit. That is not good either. That they well, you got all of these, you got all of these videos that catch all of these bad cops doing bad stuff, and it still does not 
hurt the cop. Because they can't be brought to justice so by... So how are you going to pay a bounty or a, or a reward? Because by cri There's no criminal suit uh, that uh, is... Uh, yeah, the... The, uh, the, uh, the uh, big juries won't, uh, you know, won't indict them. Just Grand re jury. Just recently, this uh, mean, brutal, racist Chicago cop punched this uh, black woman, in, a pregnant black woman, in the stomach because she uh, she chuckled or he felt that she laughed at him or something mm -hmm. and he hit her and he punched her in the stomach and says he says you, you you black bitch you're lucky I didn't punch you hard or make you lose the baby mm -hmm. now this was on video okay that is one teeny tiny example of how this Police officer should lose his but badge. But how did it play out? Did it play out yet? Or it, not? It's a recent. It's a recent occurrence. All right. Well, I but can guarantee you that nothing will happen to him. He won't go to criminal court. That's correct. What he lose? He can lose his badge, right? No. Not even. Did he? Did he get suspended? Did he get uh, without pay? Did he? I do, don't know. Did any kind of? Well, then. Because you know, you there's, can't there's, say. There's, there's but according of, uh, to the pattern of Chicago co uh, police. Of them all around the United States, <laughs> they don't get crucified. They don't suffer. Now, one may suffer. I don't know. The one that shot Laquan sixteen times. Was Laquan? Uh, did he? Did Laquan, Laquan was walking down the street unarmed. away from the cop, unarmed. They say he had a knife, but he was walking away from the cop. That's correct. So you need 16, what was it, 16? 16 so, bullets. You need 16 bullets to uh, apprehend an unarmed... He was down with the first one or two. Well, that sounds like, uh, that kind of excess reminds me of the, uh, what was his name again? Uh, Abner Luima? You know, all of those. All no, of those. all of them. Yes, it, that yes. kind of uh, uh, excessive uh, force. Excessive force, yes. It sounds like blatant racism. To Murder! Me. And Call it what it is. And murder. Murder. That's right. Yeah, but murder doesn't require that many slugs. It's still murder. Whether it be one slug or or a thousand slugs, you're right. But murder, the, but, execution, whatever but the, you want to call it. But the, um, the personal feelings go into all the extra bullets. <laughs> you know, like it's like, boom. First boom, of all, boom, first of down, all, you're, you're, dead. you're supposed to call. You're supposed to chase the the uh, the crook, the criminal, whatever you want to call him, the suspect, and call for backup. But you're supposed to, you know, when you went to the academy, you were able to go, uh, do all those, you know, push-ups and sit-ups and blah blah. You're supposed to Jiu -jitsu. chase him, huh? Jiu-jitsu. You're supposed to chase.